It's Sally Mungali where we eat and talk weight. I don't know what I'm doing. Just subscribe and let's conversate. Hey guys, today we are having Whataburger. So I got a double meat um, burger. I think it's the number two. Um, I have everything on there. I don't care for the cheese. So it's with mayonnaise, all the veggies. Um, I do love me some onion. And then I got me a small order of fries. You know, I got my mayonnaise. I got my mayonnaise ready. And I am still going strong with my water. So, um, let's, let's eat. I hope you guys can see me. It's a little different, my setup. But hopefully you like it. Just let me know below what you think. Um, just trying something different. I'm making, I'm making it, oh, I know I drop stuff. I do it all the time. Anyway. Mm. Have y'all tried the mayonnaise and the um, french fries yet? And I'm holding it this way so I don't bite my nails. I'm learning. I hope you guys are having a good week. Let's try the burger. Mm. Pretty good. I don't have makeup on today because one, I ran late this morning. It's no excuse. And I'm going to wear my mask. So, you know, like your mask covers the majority of your face. It covers all of this right here. So, I thought, what am I going to wear makeup for? But I could have, I mean, I could have darkened up my eyebrows, put a little color. I could have done some of my lashes and been good with my Carmex. Because I always have Carmex. Mm. That's what I should have done, but I didn't. I didn't think about it until I got to work. Mm. I put too much food in my mouth. <laughs> I'm hungry. It's really good. It tastes a little dry today. Mm. Mm. Come on, water bear. Tell me your day. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I do like to treat this like I'm sitting in front of my sister, my mom. Mm. So, you know, I've been telling y'all that. I've been wanting to spend time with my mamas and my son. I used to call him Tata. So my mama, my Tata, but he don't like, <laughs> he don't like it. So whatever. And um, I don't know. It was fun. Um, she came, she looked so pretty. And uh, my son looked handsome. I thought they were going to want Panda, so I thought, well, if we get Panda, I'll just do like a car mug bang, you know? Well, hmm. 
They wanted um cheddars. So we went to cheddars. Y'all guess how long we were at cheddars? We got there at five. And when we left, it was 7.43. Hold on a time. But it didn't feel like that. I guess it's, we were laughing and talking. Here's the rest of my price. Luckily, this didn't go on the floor because I got the table right here. Um, it was much needed like I needed to spend time with them so I like I feel like if I needed to spend time with them I'm sure they needed mom time too you know put a little mayonnaise on my burger um, it was really good When we got there, I mean, there was cars there. It wasn't packed. So, of course, everybody has their mask on. Hmm. I think there was like. 10 people ahead of us on the list so when I looked at the kids and said hey do y'all want to wait I thought they were gonna be like no let's go somewhere else they were like yeah <laughs> so I was like okay so you give them your phone number you put your name how many people are gonna be on your party I don't know why I always feel like I have food stuck like in between my, my lip and my teeth you know like right here so, you have to wait in your car. So we went to the car, we had fun. Talking and laughing. And then you get a text message and it says that your table's ready. So, that was good. You go inside, you tell them your name. You got the text. And then the waitress or the hostess, I'm sorry, the hostess. So the hostess comes and she sits you down. Mind you, it's like we were on the wall. Like here's a wall and then here's a wall. We were on the wall. We were in a booth and then there was like two other booths here. So we were here. And this booth was empty. And there was people in this booth. And then on this wall. And there was t tables running alongside of it and then across from the tables were booths but the booths were not open and on the tables it was like every other table so it was spaced out pretty good and then of course the waitresses they're just overstressed but i feel like for the most part our table was easy um we we enjoyed our food um but now with everything that's going on with the COVID, everything closes really early. So by the time we left there, um, it was kind of poorly planned on my part because I thought like, we'll just eat and then go to the mall or whatever. But we ate and then it was already 7.43. And then, I mean, I think we ended up looking for certain stores and then we thought like okay well like let's just go to these stores and we got there and they were closed online they said they were open but you can't those are just not guaranteed because of all the stuff that's going on right now with the covid so that's a little hard to do so but it's cool like we weren't like nobody was upset i guess because we were having fun because we were we were together so we drove back home it was probably like 
30 by the time we got home. And um, that's when a problem happened. Yeah, a problem. I'm gonna break this burger. Yeah, let me take out the, I don't really know why I don't ever ask them to take out the tomato, the pickles. I should, but I don't. This is like really good. It started out dry, but it got really juicy. Mm. We were in my daughter's car earlier part of the day. So whenever we got home, I was like, oh, I needed to go to Dollar Tree. Why did I need to go to Dollar Tree? I don't know. It's irrelevant now, right? But I needed to go. So Junior didn't want to go. So I told Gabby, you want to go with me? She's like, yeah. So we got in my car. And um, we get in my car. And I pull out. And I noticed something different. But I thought maybe it's just because of the way the back, the driveway, like, kind of dips in and up. You know, so I thought maybe it's the driveway. I went driving. And I noticed something different. But I couldn't, like, what is my, like, something's wrong with the car. And... This guy honks next to us, and we roll the window down, and he's like, you have a flat tire. And I was like, oh. So, I'm like, okay, we weren't far from the house, so like, let's just go back. Let's just go slow. We get home. Mind you, while I'm driving home, It's like, I'm not even stressing this tire. So I get home, I look at the tire and my daughter's like, no. Yeah, we were driving, we were almost to the house and I kind of pulled to the side and I told my daughter to like, to look like, is it enough to where we can go to a gas station and air it up? Or is it like, and she was like, it's. So I feel like that's for me when panic set in. Like, that's the only way I know how to describe it. Like, panic just set in. So, we go and I get towards the house. I'm getting emotional because I'm just remembering how it felt. We get to the house and I pull up the driveway and I get out of the car and the rim is to the floor. So, panic sets in. Not really panic, the pity party. Because I was like, who's going to change my tire? Who's going to help me? I don't have anybody. We don't have anybody to call. Um, we don't have family out here. I have a cousin. He lives in Mesquite. But with, with the riots that were going on yesterday, um, they were already um, destroying everything downtown Dallas. And that's where he lives. So that's scary on its own. So I'm not going to stress my cousin, well, like stress him out over it, you know, like he would help me. I know he loves me. He would help me, but it's not the same, like as have being with someone that can, you can just sit there and go, Hey honey, you know, can you come do this? So I panicked, you know, so I'm on the verge of tears. I'm like, who, what am I going to do? Da, da, da. And then my neighbors they they party <laughs> but um one of them was like had a party going on and then the other one the house was kind of it was kind of dark you know so i was like oh, what do i do you know and my daughter said well let's see because the gate was open she was like well let's see if they're there like and i was like um yeah so my daughter um when i went to grab my phone why i was gonna grab my phone i don't remember but my daughter starts walking back and she has him and then uh she he's following her 
and then I started telling him like I was really sorry like it's just I don't have anybody to call and he was like no 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 you're good like don't worry that's what neighbors are for it was a feeling of hopelessness that was horrible but he helped me and he was like do you want me to put a plug and I was like you know how to do that <laughs> I was like, you know how to do that? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <clears throat> I was explaining to him, you know, my situation or whatever. And he was like, don't worry, don't worry. Like, I'll help you the best I can. I'll put a plug. And if I can't, we'll just switch out your tire, like the donut that was in the trunk. So I'm like, okay. So he's doing all this stuff. He brings these tools from his house and his wife comes and she was so sweet and I apologized to her and I said, I'm sorry. And she was like, no, it's okay. That's what we're here for. You know, I know you work a lot and um, I keep an eye on at your house just to make sure everything's okay. Like, don't worry. So I've always been like, you know how like when you have your neighbors and you're like, you know, and then they're like, and then you just kind of do your thing. But I've never really had a conversation with them. And it's so important to get to know your neighbors. That feeling of help, helplessness is just horrible. And then I messed up because I should have just been like, you know what? Like, let me be calm. Like, okay, God, help me. Like, what do I do? Moral of the story, we're okay. <laughs> um, I woke up this morning and my attire was still good. And um, I don't know. I just have peace. Yeah so sorry guys i'm super full but um thanks for joining me i appreciate it sorry the video got kind of down at the end but it was just that feeling is just a horrible feeling i don't know about other states i'm sure there are on the but on your texas id or driver's license i think it's on your driver's license if you flip it over there's roadside assistance and it's free uh, if you need um, somebody to jump your car if you need someone to change your tire um, if you need someone to give you a little gasoline because you ran out um, they'll come and help you um, they'll help you as much as they can it's the sheriff's department they pull up and they do this service for you and they make sure you're okay and then they do whatever they need to do and then you just sign a paper saying like everything was good and that's it so take advantage of it because that's what it's there for and i was i've always just been so prideful like i don't need help i can do it i can do it i can do it but every now and then you do have to say Will you help me <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that i just need to learn that there's nothing wrong with asking for help oh. you know with that help me grow my channel <laughs> um so thank you guys for joining me um like comment and share please subscribe and comment down below what you want me to eat, what you want to talk about, what you think about my background. Like, I'm trying to make it different. So, anywho, I hope you guys um, join me tomorrow. And I am so excited to see y'all tomorrow and to read your comments. And um, see you later. Bye.